Welcome to Exploring the Illusion of Free Will. My name is George and our co-host Nomi isn't here today so we're going to um, basically demonstrate, prove that um, our wills are causal by looking at the issue in real time. We're going to like look at what, what's happening right now, you know, and preceding this show and all. So we're going to start out with the idea that I'm sitting here alone doing a show when, um, when the plan was to do it with my co-host and have some guests on and all. And, but things happened. My co-host, um, you know, basically, um, despite his, um, you know, genuine, very strong desire to tape, because, I mean, he's really into it, and I can't wait till, you know, we start doing shows together, because it's going to be awesome. Despite his, um, you know, willing to be here, things happened that he wasn't in control of, that, um, you know, that will, um, that have prevented that. So anyway, so I'm here on my own, and um, and naturally I wouldn't freely will this. You know, I would prefer to, to do a show with someone else. And, and so then, why am I here um, on my own? I could have, I could have canceled the show. I mean, or canceled the the, the taping. I mean, I, I think I could have. Um, I could have attempted, but you know, like there, what 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 stuck in my mind, what came to my mind is this idea that, um, you know, the show must go on. <laughs> the show must go on. So, so, um, and that was very, you know, it was, it was important to me that, you know, it was taped. Um, it's kind of like professionalism. And so, so here's the idea, like, you know, how did I, um, it could have been, <clears throat> it could have been that I never had heard that expression, the show must go on. And it could have been that um, that I didn't have the kind of views of of seeing that it, it would be a professional thing to do to, to to do these shows and and you know not to to cancel the tapings, okay? And and this is this is you know these things are I you know I mean if I had a free will, yeah, I, I would be um, a completely perfectly good person, you know, very professional, very whatever. But but I know that um, that. Um, I can't be that way because I don't have a free will, and I guess I feel fortunate that um, that somehow in my upbringing, um, either through my genetics, probably more environmental in this case, I came to believe in professionalism, in, in the idea of just, or somewhat professionalism, well actually, the <laughs> professionalism in certain aspects, I mean, um, no, no, I was going to say that um, Basically, what what this show is going to be geared toward is um, is um, college audiences. I want to like export these episodes to college cable TV stations across the the country and hopefully across the the world. So that you know that might explain my my t-shirt and jeans and stuff inst instead of a tie j and jacket. This is kind of like we're trying to break a uh, mold here and trying to appeal to to younger people. So. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to prove, we're going to demonstrate in real time that at least I, and certainly you, don't have a free will. Okay. Um, yeah, and I did this last episode. I did this in another episode. I'm not sure um, where, how these episodes are going to be presented with, um, in relation to each other. But on another episode, we just went through the idea that... Um, that these um, these thoughts just came in, come into our minds. You know, like before I say something, I have absolutely no idea what it is that I'm going to say. And think about that. Think about that. Like, you know, you, um, you know, throughout our days, we're saying stuff all the time. We're thinking stuff all the time. And they're just, these thoughts, these things we say are just coming into our head. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, okay, let's focus on the real-time aspect. Again, um, I want to make it as easy as possible for you to appreciate the uh, significance of this topic, of this question, whether human beings have a free will or not. And I want you to understand that, that we don't have a free will you know, I want you to understand um, 
based on the science, on whatever. For this episode, I want you to understand that I'm based on a real-time analysis of what's going on. Now, if I had a free will, um, I would guess that I would be choosing words that, that might explain this far better. I mean, I have, I have relatively good communication skills, explanatory skills and all, but you know, certainly to my estimation, they're not nearly as good as they would be if I had a free will, if, if I could just like, um, you know, basically will myself to think and say whatever I wanted. Um, but I don't have a free will. Just give me a lot more camera changes, right? It just makes it a lot more interesting for me, thanks. Um, so, um, so that's that's the idea, and then like then you might say to yourself, yourself, well, you know, you could if you wanted to um, improve your presentation skills, so you'd be much better. And yeah, granted, but but you know, for whatever reason, um, either I think that the presentation skills are are good enough, or or there's something preventing me from from enhancing, improving my presentation skills. Um, and let me tell you something, I've, I've done television for like, you know, four years you know, of TV shows. So, so this isn't something that, that's new. I, you know, I, I understand my, my, um, my strengths, my limitations in this. And, and that, um, that basically, um, whoa, <laughs> that basically, um, makes it all right all right we're gonna go this is real time okay when i um when i instructed the director to have more camera changes i thought it'd be a good thing for the show and and maybe it will be i think it will be but then i i noticed also that like um when the camera changes and i'm in mid um thought then that that might have a tendency to distract me and and that's actually what happened i lost my train of thought when the camera changed now if I had a free will, okay, that's good. I'm getting because if I had a free will, I would not have lost my train of thought. Okay, so this is you know we're explaining in real time how we don't have a free will. You know the director's um, act caused me, um, you know, and, and again you're, you're, it's not like I'm um, you know um, I, I instructed the director to give me a lot more changes and all, so that's good. But the idea is like it's the um, it's someone else's action that um, that resulted in the thoughts or lack of them that I was having, you know, that in, in this case, uh, very specifically, of my having lost my train of thought. And so, here, I mean, like, let's get right into the, um, the benefits of understanding um, or that, that our wills are, are causal instead of free will. You know, if I believed in a free will, I might be tempted to say, oh, man, you know, this, you know, I might be angry at the director for, for having made, you know, the change when he or she did, because I'm not sure who's directing this, and um, and but like you know, understanding that 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 they, that I, we all have causal wills, um, makes it easy to to not blame or hold the other person responsible or or hold myself responsible, you know, and that could be such a godsend. That could be such a um, a wonderful perspective to um, from which to view reality. Um, okay, so again, we're gonna we're gonna look for ways to um, to demonstrate in real time why um, why we don't have a free will. Okay, um, right now, perfect example, perfect example. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to say next, what I want to talk about next. This thought just came to me. You know, when, when I realized that I didn't know what I wanted to say next, I realized that I could talk about not wanting to say next and use it as an example of how we don't have a free will. So, so that's what we're doing. And the thought just came to me. Okay, while I was like thinking, what am I going to say? This thought just came to me from who knows where. You know, I mean, like, you could say that it came from, all right, let's say you say it came from my mind, from me, okay? But think about it. Um, why couldn't I think of something else to say except for the fact that I didn't, you know, couldn't think of something to say? 
Why couldn't I do that? Because I don't have a free will. You know, having a free will means just being able to think and say and do whatever you want, you know, within kind of like certain parameters. Like, you know, having a free will doesn't mean that we can fly, you know, without an airplane or something um, because, you know, because of other reasons, you know, physical laws that prevent that, gravity and all. But, but in terms of our decisions, in terms of what we say, what we think, what we feel, um, yeah, I mean, the reality is that, you know, we can't do that. We can't do that. All right, I'm going to go into, I just like, a thought just came into my mind. Uh, we've been thinking about thoughts. Let's talk about feelings. Okay, so um, let's see. In terms of feelings, how am I feeling? I, I'm a little cold. If you guys could turn up the heat a little more, that'd be cool. Because uh, when I get cold, I got to start. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's very cold. I'm, I'm, I'm almost shivering. Um, so, um, and again, the, the perfect example. Let, let's put the feelings thing aside. Temperature. You know, temperature. Somebody else is controlling the temperature in this room. I feel a little cold. Uh, the coldness makes me a little nervous. That's going to affect the presentation. That's all right. Uh, if it wasn't the person with the, with the um, you know, with air conditioning switch, it'd be something else. It could be like, for example, today, it's, it, it's, um, it's overcast. It's, um, I think it drizzled a little today, this morning. You know, it's like threatening to rain. And that affects our mood. That affects how we feel. That's going to affect this show. And so, like, if I'm not in control of either the weather or, you know, how high or low a person sets a, a thermostat in this room, then I'm not in control of, my, um, of things that are impacting what I say and how I say it and, and all this. So that's a good way of, of, uh, of understanding why, you know, why... Um, really what we do and think and feel is really not up to us. It's up to everything. All right, we're going to get into something really cool. Um, in Buddhism, there's this idea that there's no real individual self, that um, the, the individual self is an illusion. And uh, when you think about it, it's true. Because what's happening is like, you know, we have these physical bodies okay, but they are influenced by the temperature, by the light, by the atmosphere, by other people, by so many factors outside of us. And um, so then w the reality is the, uh, the more accurate reality is that um, we are everything. It's like, you know, we are completely connected to everything else. In other words, there, there's no separation between me and this chair and this set and, and the people in, in, the, um, in the director's um, booth and, and people outside. No, we are all completely connected and that's, um, that's the way the universe is, okay? Um, and we have to be that way because, you know, influences are constantly inputting us from the outside and we're constantly inputting um, things outside of us. You know, it's a one. So, um, now I, this could lead into an explanation of how um, the state of the universe compels everything, but I'm not, I don't want to get into that right now. That's